Hey, Double O's, it's Blake over at Bond Life Chicago with another Double O Fight Breakdown. And today I actually have a guest with me. She needs no introduction, but for the sake of me being able to have the bragging rights to introduce her as my guest, I am here today with Miss Trina Parks, who, as we all know, was Thumper in Di or Diamonds Are Forever. Trina, thank you again yes. for, for doing this. Uh, it's it's awesome. You know, you can even see the picture above you. That's what we're going to be talking about today is is you and Bambi having a ball with with Bond <laughs> as as Sean Connery. So I I thought it'd be awesome to talk to you about your your scene, your fight scene um with Sean Connery in the movie because that was obviously early on in your career and you had a pretty awesome experience and a unique experience getting to do that scene. So yeah. Yes, I kind of, why don't you tell me a little bit just about yourself, the experience, the the scene of being a Bond girl, all, all the above. Mm. Well, it was quite an experience. I uh, First, I want to say is that I didn't know who Sean Connery was, <laughs> Sir Sean now. Um, and I had no idea I was the first uh, a Black American Bond woman. Yep. And what I, because at that time, you, there was no, you know, cell phones or computers that you right. can look up. No over internet, look up. nothing. So, yeah. Yeah. So um, I knew, uh, I mean, I had worked with other stars on Broadway, you right. know, in theater before. So it was, I was, to me, just working with another, you know, uh, uh, actor, star. Right. And um, yeah, and I love the part. I, I when I received the script, I just said, "Oh, wow, this is me," you know. <laughs> and awesome. um, that that the initial mm -hmm, the initial you know feeling of this whole the whole thing, and uh, it, it was just it was just a, a great part for me. Uh, and also, I'd never I had never uh, seen any James Bond film. You know, okay, so and that was going to be one know. of my other questions. Yeah, uh, so yeah, had, yeah. Uh, had yeah. you, had you heard of James Bond at that point, or even that was kind of just wasn't really you were busy doing yeah. your own thing? Yeah, it, because I, actually, I, I mean, I came from the dance world, theater world, right. and I wasn't really into the movie or TV world yet. Right. You know, so I was. Yeah, like I said, I really wasn't, and I, I've seen, I had seen movies, but I wasn't a big movie goer. Right. Um, theater. I would see theater as much as I could, and, you know, as we were as I was training, going so to the high school of performing arts and training too. We were, you cool. know, told to go all to all theater, especially dance. Right. Uh, you know, theater. So that was based more so my focus. And so, but when I came to LA, uh, <laughs> actually, when I I was there, I was there to do a movie. Okay. Um, a Great White Hope. But then Very that, cool. you know. I started getting into it, and that's when um, I signed with the APA Agency mm -hmm. for the Performing Arts, and that's how I got connected. <laughs> Very so awesome. Well, we're really, glad to have you. Yeah, it's, it wouldn't have been the same the same thumper without you. I don't think. I think that uh, your, all your background and and you know the the mindset that you had for it brought brought a a a. a purview to the character that somebody else might not have brought and that's it was it was awesome so, that so is, like oh go yeah. ahead can i hear you a little bit uh, louder yep can you yep can you hear me yeah that's better all right, all right. uh-huh yeah um and it made me think of two i don't know if this is gonna be your question but even when i went to the first second and third audition wow this, wow i saw no one else, no other woman there. Yeah. And usually, you know, if you, especially like the first one, you have other ladies there. Right. Or, you know, specific part. You might right. Even, even you, you, it might be one or two or three other ladies there. Yep. Never. That wow. was a strange. Thing. And now did you but get, yeah. is that a position that you, you applied for? Or did somebody almost even kind of headhunt you and, and ask you to initially audition for that role? Yeah, well, it was through my agent. So okay. I, I signed, I, I actually, uh, a friend of mine referred me to a, a manager. Mm -hmm. And after I did Great White Hope, I decided I would put my act together. Um, gotcha. And uh, I had, of course, a lot of Broadway 
Uh, my father was was the lead tenor sax man in Cab Calloway's band, so I had all jazz, uh, yep. all kind of jazz music and training with him. So okay. I knew a lot about the different jazz singers, yep, uh, female singers that he, you know, that he worked with 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 uh, the Cab Cab's band. He had Very all cool. the records. I used to listen to them. <laughs> so all of that. And and I was trained also cl- uh, classic uh, in uh, opera, so oh, okay. I put yeah like um, a uh, variety show together uh, that the manager I was working with uh, put uh, booked for me at the club called the Ye Little Club, which okay. is not there anymore, Beverly Hills. So she invited different agents and all that, and, and uh, that who I signed with. Awesome. Um, uh, yeah, and that is, and then of course he called me, and at that time, you know, agents actually, you have to give your your actual hardcover pictures. Yep. And, yep. Uh, she so he said he sent out a couple of pictures. Of course, he sent the pictures to the uh, James Bond franchise. Yeah. And they that they requested for me, and I had uh, the character, of course, had to dance. But she also had to do uh, have karate, so mm-hmm. it wouldn't look. Too, I mean, you know, dance like you know what you were doing. Yeah, of course. To, dancing, but I also needed to know how to fight. You know, so I did. I I learned karate from uh, being in uh, in Catherine Dunham's company. Okay. Uh, well, I was training with her since I was fourteen to fifteen, and then was wow, in her awesome. company. I was the youngest one in our company. We performed the last uh, time the company performed in the United States uh, was in 1964. And I was, uh, you know, she asked me if I'd like to join the company. Well, I I had had African way before that. And of course, (laughs) I was trained in Graham, Mark Graham at uh, the uh, high school. Very cool. So you had 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 quite a bit of martial arts type training. Very cool. Yeah. So awesome. I had all that training beforehand. It's not like, like I just learned. I mean, I was learning her technique, but I right. had the African and then the modern. All that. So I learned her technique really quickly. Okay. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's who taught me. Miss D taught me that karate. Awesome. Uh, um, uh, we, had, you know, she had classes in karate and drumming and everything right. in her school in New York. So. So that's the karate I knew. And I told my agent, because he didn't know if I had, if I knew karate or not. And I said, <laughs> yes, I do know. And that's what I told him. And, uh, and then and of course, worked the, out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so Broccoli and Sir Hamilton, you know, the Broccoli producer, yep. they knew about my training and all that. Okay. But Perfect. when uh, the first, um, the first audition was oral. So I had to tell okay. them about, you know, right, they asked me right. about all my training, you know, because there were others there too, not just the two of them. Right. <clears throat> so that, and then the, the second, uh, the second audition was um, the oral, the, the um, on screen, you know. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I had to like say a few screen, words. Yeah, you know? screen test. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That, uh, screen test. And uh, then they called me again for the movement. Okay. And that was it. Awesome. I did everything yes. I thought that the character would do. Well, the, and I uh, think you knocked yeah. it out of the park with that for sure. So <laughs> we covered we covered your martial arts training. What what uh, dance background do you have for those that might not know? What was the dance background that you had then and then even in now today? Um, well, it started like I, I as I previously said, I was in in uh, Harlem. Uh, I lived with my father in Harlem after mm-hmm. he came off the road with uh, the ca- with cab. Well, he was still working, but that was in like the 50s. Okay. And he um, started taking me to the uh, Brooklyn Academy of Music for okay. ballet. I was about six there. And so I started actually in ballet. And then I took the audition for the high school of performing arts in, in uh, a junior high school in a high school, rather. I mean, junior high school. <laughs> and uh, I went for actually ballet because okay. I was doing toe work at that time, too. Um, and uh, it, that was really not that predi- pred- 
prejudice in New York as it, of course, was in the South. Right. But it was still there a little. Okay. And I know now, and I knew afterwards, but at that time, they weren't taking any Black female ballet dancers okay. in school. So they asked me, actually, the Graham uh, teachers, which, uh, who were Miss, uh, Miss Graham's original dancers, okay. uh, Dr. Yoakum and Dr. Schur, asked me. It, it just came up to me, actually. I never forget. It was like, it's like yesterday. <laughs> I remember, you know, in the, after the audition, came to me and said, would you like to come back for the modern audition? Well, of course, awesome. I would never forget it either. And I said, no, I don't really want to come back, but I want to go <laughs> into the ballet department, right? Right, right. And of course, not knowing that ruling, uh, I said, okay, yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> rest is history. I got awesome. into the modern. Um, I was the lead dancer in uh, the grand piece that... Um, uh, Norman Norman Walker, my teacher, okay. who was in the Graham Company in the 50s. And then uh, in my senior year, I was a soloist. Um, um, Helen Tamaris one of, did one of her solos, the, the first to do her solo. Okay. Um, um, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. So, um, you know, I was determined that I would excel. Yeah. I mean, we had ballet. Yes, that was one of our, you know, classes. But right. I wasn't, you know, my, my major was uh, modern. Okay, very cool. Grand. Very cool. So I started, then I started going to the to the Dunham School, which was like on 42nd Street. And PA, Performing Arts, was on 46th and Broadway. So anyway, okay. that's when I started taking classes with Miss D. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Um. <clears throat> And uh, then when I graduated, I went to my, I, my father had to sign for me actually to even do the Apollo show too, <laughs> because I was 15. And awesome. then Ms. D asked me to come as her feature dancer uh, in a production she was doing in Paris. Okay. So uh, my father signed for that. And I left <laughs> after graduation, I went in June and went straight to Paris. And awesome. uh, stayed with the company there for a year. Okay. And when I, um, and uh, before I left, uh, we, um, I did this show called The Prodigal Son. Um, Vinette Carroll, who was my drama teacher in PA, okay. was, was directing this play called The Prodigal Son. So when the play called, uh, Ms. Dunham's play closed, then <laughs> The Prodigal Son was coming to Brussels, actually, and Vinette asked my father if I could join them, <laughs> you know, after the show closed and do like a month or two with the Prodigal wow. Son, which I did. I played the uh, dancer, the lead dancer in that. Okay. So I did about a month, that a month or six weeks we did, and we toured, we toured different, you know, in All Europe. and Europe actually over there, Paris, very cool. Paris, and then when I came back from that, I almost joined the Ailey Company, but instead, I, I joined uh, Donnie McHale's company. Okay. And we did an international tour. Uh, my husband, I, we, John Parks, uh, who I met in high school. <laughs> we were, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. We were a high school, you know, sweetheart. Very cool. And, and then we got married before we went on tour with Donnie. Okay. Donnie's company. Um, and then when we, uh, I came back and he came back, he went with, uh, Jose Limon's company, and I went with Tally Beatty's company. Okay. Um, who was actually the original choreographer for the Prodigal Son. Okay, cool. And, uh, then, uh, and from there, um, I went to, I worked with, oh gosh, a lot of <laughs> All over the company. place with a lot yeah. of people. Joffrey, awesome. Yeah, Joffrey Holder, you know, um, uh, Claude Thompson, and then I was in, uh, I worked with uh, Mr. Sammy Davis Jr.'s show. We okay. did a couple of shows cool. together, and I did that. So, yeah, that's part of my, you know, base of right. uh, the training. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Now, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you got to play a part in the choreography for your scene in Diamonds Are Forever, right? Yeah, when uh, in the section where the floor section, okay. um, 
uh, Bob was saying, you know, said to me, well, he's not a, I'm not a choreographer. Let's see what you can do in this section, right? So I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I did a couple of different uh, moves with choreography. And then we had to show both of the different sections I choreographed to, you know, Sir Sean and or Sir Broccoli. Right. And, and the one you see on the scene is what they... they awesome. They, and you, so you came up it. with, you know, like you said, basically everything on the ground, the the I'm, I don't know gymnastics or dancing well enough. Yeah. So the the flips and the like those well, not, those not moves. the flip that was okay. later. But okay. but uh, on the ground I did the split, the turn, yep. the, whole, the whole and that was even Graham coming like coming up with uh you know like what I call like the stalking section. Right, right. And, uh, yeah. And the so movement I used with the, your with your arms there. Yeah. Very I, cool. I used the Graham and every you know <laughs> I you know you have all that in in you. Yep. You can't, especially those great iconic choreographers. Yep. It, you know. And you're able to take you little forever. pieces from all of that and just make that, that That's awesome right. scene. That's awesome. That's right. Very That's cool. That's what I did. I always give them, I miss Z, of course, you have the credit for that karate training, yep. and Miss Graham, and of course, all of Tunji, Baba Tunji of my African training. Yep. I mean, all of that. <laughs> That's and if that. you That's and if you and Bambi <clears throat> wouldn't have jumped into the water with Bond, you guys still would have been kicking his butt, I think. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Double seven has to win. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you yep. take some water. <laughs> <laughs> so you also kind of already touched on it a little bit, but I also, for those that don't know about it, you obviously you dance, you act, and then you also sing. Is that correct? Now is well, that most. Yeah, is that's it mostly what I did jazz when music? I was. Mm -hmm. Is it mostly like jazz, and then you said some opera, or what? What kind of music do you normally sing? I do jazz, Broadway, okay, class, a little bit of classical because that's practically all the shows that I've done. I I sang summertime, and I sang it in the classical. Way. Okay, very um, cool. Uh, in high in uh, junior high school, I was the lead um, vocalist in the, in the uh, song. Uh, um, Inflamatus okay. and with choir. Yeah, so that was my first opera. Awesome. <laughs> so, so very talented. But, you can't just yeah. can't act. Can't just sing. You can do all of it. Very cool. I, I try to do everything. That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, where if somebody wanted to look up some of your music or where you perform, where would be a good place to try to look some of that stuff up? Mm, that's, because I do have uh, some. Um, videos but i don't know if they're all on my website okay um but you can go there my my goddaughter daughter is actually putting putting it together very cool to more things together okay. if i can find <laughs> right you gotta right. Have find stuff on the computer because <laughs> i'm you know i'm from the pencil and pen and yep. eraser era challenges all of them <laughs> it's, it's, so it's... i need her help so yeah there's some 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 videos out there awesome. um but the, I don't know if they're all on my website, okay. which is www.trinapark.com. <laughs> that's that's easy to remember. That's awesome. <laughs> and then you also you either just released or you were you're still working on an autobiography too, right? I have yes, I've actually finished it. Um, it took some time because I've been out of took about two or three years because wow. I had been out of town a lot. Yep. And then um, and you've done I a lot. Had, <laughs> and you've done a lot. It's a lot, a lot to fit Thank in Thank God, there. you know, I'm good. <laughs> and so, but I just, uh, last week or two weeks, about two weeks ago, I sent it, excuse me, <clears throat> I sent it to my uh, literary agent. And okay. again, my daughter, my daughter helped me because there are other things that, you know, she needs, you might know, of the blog, the bio, the right, right. synopsis and all that. <laughs> so all those things are in a folder pictures and things like that that right. i want to use. yeah well that's awesome mm -hmm. well congratulations on, awesome. on on finishing that i can't wait to see that get published and and i'm sure a, a lot of people especially some bond fans and and dance fans and everybody's gonna yes. jump on that that'll that'll be an awesome read for sure with some Thank cool pictures you. it sounds yeah. like uh, you know because i've been teaching since 1970 and you know, I noticed a lot of the young people, plus the young black dancers, don't really know their history. 
mm-hmm. of some of the people I I mentioned. Right. And I, that really put the thought in my mind, that, you know, I, I need to do this. Yeah. I need to pass, write pass about Pass along it all that they, knowledge for I, sure. Yeah, need to write it so they will actually know, not only just know about the dancer the, or the choreographer name, right what he or she really accomplished not just choreography or how because i knew them personally right you know? right and so it's not like i just worked with them and buy and i really you know knew them so yeah. but this that was you know mainly part of my you know thought of of writing writing this book and of course of my life and a lot yep. of things of course of what i've said is in it yeah <laughs> well that's book. very cool it's all I, detail I, I... Yes, mm-hmm. definitely. And it's it sounds like it's, you know, you've lived a very, very colorful, full, full life and you've got to do a ton of different things in your career. And that's very yes. cool. And it's exciting to read about, too. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, yes. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Trina. Uh, Thumper, of course. <laughs> but but thank you again for, you. for being on. And as always, for everybody that's watching today, if you're serious about martial arts, It's a good way to stay safe, a good way to stay fit, and a good way to bring some bond into your everyday life. See you guys soon. Yes, yes. And if I could say one more thing to dancers, young people in theater. Of course. Just do all sorts of dance. You know, if if your major is ballet, do African, do jazz, you know. So you get that full, the the whole compass of dance. Because if you're going into theater or anything, you know, uh, related to that you might need to have that other yep. technique in your body you know yep, and it should, it should have that you know even in theater people know everything about theater no backstage stuff you know everything you know and that's the way I was trained and yep. then when I teach I start teaching about this choreographer that I'm you know basically right. teaching about either right. Graham or if it's Dunham you know not just go start teaching they need to know the history of what they're going to be dancing. Right. And definitely. And it's, and like you said, very, no matter, no matter what it is you're doing, whether it's dancing, acting, singing, you know, martial arts, it's better to right. have as many of those tools and skills in your toolbox to, to succeed for sure. Absolutely. Well, That's thank right. you. Thank you again for, for being a part of this. I appreciate it very much for you taking time out of your busy schedule to, to talk with me today. Well, I thank you, but you got me on the non-busy schedule because I just came back from two <laughs> weeks of doing autographs in California. 